got everyone in the best way possible adjustments adjustments every day let's see wait 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 we gotta make sure we're all in this all right welcome everyone hello everyone all right so uh let's see maybe move yeah yeah let me okay we have instagram facebook youtube over here and uh glad to be with you what is today 12 12 12 21 all right uh, how, uh 13 days to christmas uh just another moment to life and beauty in the day today and that's all that matters right yeah whatever your celebration of life is right it doesn't matter what it is where it is we're all in this beautiful celebration of life and uh we're here to answer questions Sha, uh, Sha Queen, hello. And uh, Chelsea from Colorado. Oh, TikTok, Instagram. We got to do more TikToks. And we're going to be sharing these things and ideas of um, faith always first. And I don't have my chain on. I don't know where it is. I should go find it. But I always wear the journey, the, 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 the talisman that always reminds me that faith trumps facts spirit over science our brother from sarasota is here uh is that jimmy there yes awesome. let's see the journey through ivf good morning uh, da, uh k2 uh k1 f1 french fry <laughs> faruki Fayez. uh i am soul right uh let's see samantha t hello madeline cordero uh hello from new jersey uh inspiration is our number one if we have inspiration and we can visualize the thing we desire as if it is amazing that's what oh, there's cheryl right there the twins are 11 ah, today. Cheryl. happy birthday to you twin awesome 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 never give up she's saying it florida yeah uh, first stim done looking forward to coming to syracuse awesome awesome and uh, uh, let's see uh optimistically Infertile. I am. I. We are in the fertility journey, and so I've always said infertility or being infertile is a negative. But if you kind of like spread the words out, infertile, uh, we're in the in, in the fertile journey. It's and a it's an incredibly good opportunity to learn. Hot flashes common with going left, Lindsay. They're not common. Clomid much more common. Uh, so electrazole, yeah, less electrazole, yes, common, but clomid is the most common. Yeah, but you're right, letrozole. If you're on letrozole with gonal, that can cause some but, hot but it flashes. Gets, it gets better as you move along in your cycle. Uh, Coco Chanel, uh, do you want to answer that one? What are the odds uh, of having twins with PCOS? Actually, a little bit higher. It depends if you're conceiving spontaneously or with treatments. Uh, we try to manage it. Um, but it is a little bit higher. All right, all right. So Donna Miller, hello to you. Uh, Lauren Wamsley uh, from Texas, Fort Worth. Uh, hello to you from all over this country, this world. Uh, it's quite amazing. Carolee, uh, South Carolina. We had a big miracle baby on December 1st. Carolee SC, hello yes. from? South Carolina, SC. Syracuse. Oh, Syracuse. Oh, <laughs> okay. My, 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 my kind friend here, we're getting him to understand and read it. Actually, he's much better at the names than I ever was. Uh, Ghana, Tony? Uh, yes, hello. Uh, March, uh, full. We got, wait, I got to reach over. The it's like going too fast here. It's going perfect. And what I need to do is slow it down, right? Is slow it down, right? Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's all right. See. All right. All right. Good Let's morning, see. Kristen. Uh, Tamira. Oh, Tamira from Antigua. Antigua. Whoa, that is a nice spot to be right now. That's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Emma, Mary Jo, hello. When a donor. Okay, let's see. Uh, Roxy reincarnates. Would you answer that one? Read it. When a donor egg miscarries and you do it at a home expulsion, does your DNA from the donor egg end up attached? To your blood's DNA dormant. I don't think I have, we have no evidence of that. Well, well but yeah. but remember, like these viruses, my bed is embryos. All of us, there's DNA being shared, which is all part of the process of growth and creativity for all of us. There isn't one way. There's lots of different ways, and that's the kind of the interesting part of the puzzle. I, but you know, I want to say something though. If you do, wait, 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 wait. Do you want to say something? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My good friend wants to say something. 
when you do uh, egg donation and you end up with an embryo, there is a lot of you in that embryo as that embryo develops because you're the one who's pretty much controlling what's going to come out from that embryo. The information has to be read by someone. You're the reader of that information and you make the baby. So it, in a way, what you mentioned is kind of true, that there is a greater link between you and the embryo than we want it, to it's, it's, it's absolutely true. I'm trying to fix this for Dr. Condor because he is always reminding me about the, about the lighting and how I can change it and make it, make it improve. So just know this, Dr. Condor, we're, we're listening. Uh, South Asian sperm, I don't know. If you guys have any recommendations for South Asian sperm, let us know. You might try the, uh, again, California Crown Bank, uh, Seattle uh, Banks, uh, uh, the Zyrtec. There are a lot out there. I don't know that answer, but let's get everyone to add in. And by the way, we're here to listen to all of you. Your ideas are important. Uh, we're learning about immunology and inflammation and endo. Check out Dr. Vidali, by the way, on endometriosis and Prejmune regarding uh, uh, immune testing. Uh, there was a question about lupus or uh, testing and all of these things, by the way, uh, maybe a, a lupus and the coagulant are evidence of what? Inflammation. Inflammation. Yes. The cause of cancer, endometriosis, infertility, uh, eczema, psoriasis are, is all caused by? Inflammation. Inflammation. And this is why we recommend the baby's plan. Now we're gonna get rid of the diet word and make it baby's solution or plan. It's bacon, eggs, butter, beef, ice cream, intermittently feasting one meal a day and salt. And it's, and it's eliminating fruit, fiber, and vegetables of any significant and going to one meal a day. Samantha Teehee. Uh, does the miscarriage count as a cycle or should we wait another month before doing the cycle? Uh, well, once you get a miscarriage, you have to wait a little bit. Wait, one yeah. month, two months, three months. You yeah. don't need to wait long, right? Because as long as your pregnancy test is positive, um, you're not really going to have much uh, success in fertility treatments. I have a good question over there. Are good, uh, from Jesslyn Bills, are good egg grades correlated with less genetic issues? What do you think? Well, inflammation damages everything, including the DNA. So DNA damage uh, is caused by inflammation, which may create genetic chromosomal abnormalities. So sperm DNA fragmentation, egg DNA fragmentation is all caused by inflammation. inflammation. And so, the, and it's, oh, by the way, if you have Optum United Healthcare insurance, they may deny your coverage if you use any of the immune treatments. So you got to make sure that you're getting pre-authorization first and you can't ask for these drugs. You got to do, do them separately and just go straight for the gonofolistin, menopure, uh, letrozole and clomid and keep it simple. All that other stuff is a side journey. For whatever reason, I think it's wrong. You need to write to the insurance companies and say, this is wrong. And uh, also, I'm being sued by Dr. Gleischer that claims that he has a patent on the use of DHEA. You need to write to the FDA, FTC, and tell them and make a complaint that it's wrong, that he has this patent, that we can't share that DHEA may be helpful. Currently, I'm telling people that DHEA may not be helpful because it may be snake oil science. So that we're kind of pulling our recommendation on DHEA. And again, maybe even supplements may be unnecessary for all of us, but it's crazy, crazy ideas. Ashley Pinnock, uh, did my transfer and now I have beautiful baby girl, three months, three, almost three. Whoa, a princess. All right. Thank we're, you so much. And keep sharing your ideas, by the way. We, we really need them. Madeline Cordero, Lindsay Morrow, uh, Jay uh, Bacon, uh, difference of triggering with Lupron versus HCG? Um, well, the way we do it now, there's not a heck of a big difference. The, what, the reason why we like using Lupron versus HCG is we have less uh, hyperstimulation. But I always think adding a little bit of HCG may be a value because yes. HCG directly triggers the egg to mature and release, where Lupron triggers the brain to re release LH and FSH 
So if you have a lower, if your if your estrogen is lower than four thousand, to me, add a little bit of HCG. It may increase your need for freezeol. Yeah. But you know, this is the hardest part to all this. Uh, oh, Carrie wants to know who, who should who should she? Carrie write to Jefferson. Yeah. Uh, 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 write to the FDA, FTC, uh, and write to I don't know who, but this idea that Dr. Gleischer owns a patent that gives them the right to sue us doctors for sharing something that everyone is sharing, it seems wrong to me. And, and plus DHEA is a naturally occurring substance. Nobody manufactures it, it's out there. Uh, go to the FTC, FDA website and look up Dr. Gleischer and DHEA. There's a complaint from the FDA, FTC to Dr. Gleischer and his nutraceutical company that says, you cannot make these claims. And yet you have a patent that gives you the right to somehow claim it, it's ridiculous. But we need to be the, the drivers. The same thing with goes with Optum United Healthcare. If you have coverage for IVF, but they're denying your coverage because you use intralipids or Lovenox or maybe even steroids or aspirin, how can they deny you your coverage when you have the right to that? Unless, I, we, I all, yeah. unless we all step up Write your congressman, write the FDA, FTC, write your local New York State Department of Health um, or the Office of Professional Misconduct. Ask the question, how can Dr. Gleischer sue another fellow doctor for recommending what's in the public space? I don't know. All right, this is good one. Optimistically fertile. What's the difference between Menopure and ACG LH? If you've been a, a poor responder in the past, one would would one use these drugs, and would one be better than the other? Um, Metopure is a mix of FSH and LH, and HCG slash LH is just LH. So that's really the big difference. At the end of the day, when we when we give you the dosaging, we take all that into account, and the end re result is exactly the, the same. We we adjust our go to left dose if we give you menopure. So it's a one-to-one -one FSH to LH ratio for menopure, roughly. Uh, do you have any, oh, does CNY have a self-pay rate for hysteroscopy? A CNI doctor told me it would be covered by insurance, but the hospital has now sent me, wow. Well, well look, at, this is the problem, that they're all trying to steal our money. Um, that's, we've got to do something. We do hysteroscopies in the office. You must get a pre-authorization to know whether or not your insurance covers this shit, whether it's at the hospital or with us. We do offer self-pay discounted rates in our office. The moment you go to a hospital, we all lose control. But you need to demand uh, and you have to fight the hospitals and your insurance. And even us, don't give up, by the way. I am committed. We're committed to affordability, quality access for everyone. And we know that this is so frustrating of a process that you can be angry, mad, sad, depressed. We're here to listen and learn from everyone. I am reinstating CNY Fertility's five-star fertility care. Quality, access, honorability to everyone, no matter your size, shape, age, weight, gender description, whatever it is, we need to honor everyone. If we're using derogatory negative terms about anyone, even in private, that's not good for any of us here, by the way. We need to step it up to another level. Our job at CNY Fertility is to inspire all of us to be better, do better, and learn better. And by the way, starting from us too. Us too, every yes. day. Yeah. And I love this. Dr. Fruki and I have known each other for 25 years. We, we ran into each other at the ASRM meeting in Toronto. And since then, uh, we've been good friends. We're teaching each other these things and how to do better. We all knew, need to do it together. Uh, karma, uh, caramel kiss, kiss four. Yes to boosters. If my team tries to convince you to use or not, look at all these things. We have to shorten the conversation. It's not harmful. We don't know how helpful it is. It's inexpensive and easy. Now, if you're at risk of hyperstimulation, we have to be a little careful, but I'm trying to get all my practitioners. Yes, my pleasure. We're learning. If you're angry at me, I need to learn how to listen to you and understand 
where you're coming from, why you're angry, sad, mad, or depressed. We all need to do that better. But yes, I think boosters are good. Uh, Lisa Palmer, you want to get that one, Dr. Uh, Farouk? Uh, uh, the travel team has just put me on S-Trace and Prometrium until the 17th due to the Christmas schedule, 44 and racing time. Do you think this is a good thing to do uh, right into a retrieval this month or skip it and go to January? My fear is uh, I just did two PRPs with recent retrievals and no benefits only last so long. Well, actually, it, it's sending them along last long enough even if you went and did your retrieval in January. Yeah, I, that, uh, that started doing that to the 17th, we do a lot of estrogen, progesterone, with or without either cerevital or human growth, priming, then then go right into a stimulation, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, even when we do all these protocols, some people respond very well, some people don't respond. We we keep changing our protocols. We It's a very interactive thing. It's There's no one recipe that fits all. It's always moving, 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 moving. Uh, natural fertilization with sperm versus laboratory inserted fertilization, CGEN 86. I'd say we, we offer ICSI for everyone because you don't want to do all this work and get no fertilization and go like, oh, gee, it didn't fertilize. And if it doesn't fertilize with natural fertilization, just go ahead and add sperm the next day. It's okay. It's your choice. I recommend ICSI for everyone, hatching for everyone, and day three freezer transfer for everyone. Uh, and I'm not a big proponent of PGS, but if you no. want to do that, that's all right. I second that, by the way. <laughs> He's got to deal with me, hyperactive attention deficit. Beauty is Dr. Dr. Faruqi is very calming. Natalie Fox, we I think we answered difference. Lupron HCG trigger. We just uh, answered that one. Yeah. I rec again back to Lupron for everyone. A little bit of HCG for most people. Uh, Leo Lady, uh, all for my bay. Uh, Lynn Affordables, Ashley Fuse Lemon, uh, Keta Baby, right? Uh, uh, Keta. Kidaf baby. Kidaf baby. Yeah. What should I look for while choosing a sperm donor? Whatever is your fancy. You know, we there's nothing particular other than look at the profile and decide if that's the one you want. There's, I mean, there's no magic to any of us. Pick who you pick. That's the beauty of life. We all pick something different. If we're all picking the same or you're asking me what to pick, I don't know. My uh, serendipity design. Do you do you do micro sorting, sperm uh, sorting for gender? Uh, we used to do that in the seventies, eighties uh, even. Um, you were born. I, I, well, <laughs> not the way I am now though. Right. Um, it actually, doesn't really work. The only thing that really works is uh, uh, testing the embryos and putting back the gender you want. That's really the only thing. And Megan Lee, hello. Uh, and what are the thoughts on weekly interrupts doing a transfer of previous miscarriages? Elizabeth Annie. Uh, we, we do that. We, depending, once again, it's everyone, we look at everyone's history and then we, we decide on which but, protocol to do. But in general, inflammation is the cause of all infertility. And so, you know, again, it's back to if you have, if you have United Healthcare Optum, you got to be careful because they might not cover your fertility care if you use these things. So you need to be aware of that. And they have to tell you, get all your pre-authorizations early and also write them a letter and say, why are you preventing me from using these things I want to use when I have coverage? Write your, your, your human resources department that I think is important. But why is keto so critical? Because it's anti-inflammatory. And all the things that we talk about, wait, 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 no. <laughs> Keto, 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 and that's the king. And, um, and interlipids is exactly it's, the it's thing. <laughs> fat is the soap that reduces inflammation. Yeah. Megan Lee, Nevada, hello. Microsorting, uh, again, uh, progesterone remaining, remained low after my fresh transfer, getting ready for my frozen. Uh, I don't know what low is, uh, caramel uh, kiss four, but under 10, we like it 10 or above. We use 20 as kind of our catch point add either oral, vaginal, or intramuscular, right? Yeah. Hey, there's a good question there from Barbara Marcioni. 
Do you think PGG can cause more harm than good? Very interesting question. Um, we have learned that uh, when they first came out, we were very gung-ho about PGD. And at the end of the day, when we looked, we actually somehow had less pregnancies than in the group when we never used to do PGD. Well, well Dr. Gleisher, who I respect his science, but I also um, recognize that science could be snake oil, by the way, and that there's some evidence that PGT biopsies in and of itself may be gathering the wrong information and then you throw out an embryo. That's, that's what we thought is the result of having lower pregnancy rates. Let's see, where did is my the, soccer I mean, ball it, it, go? Yeah, that's right. I'm it's missing it. my soccer ball. Uh, uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Look at, remember, if you biopsy any particular point on an embryo, which is the trophectator, the placenta, you're going to get a different answer. Uh, my good friend, Dr. Vidali, told me of a case that Eight embryos were abnormal. They retested them. They got four or six normal. So maybe we don't know anything. Again, interesting concepts and ideas, right? Okay. Did you throw that in the fire? I threw that in the fire. <laughs> no, I didn't actually. That ended up there. Oh, by the way, we do we do sell a beef liver and beef uh, meat supplement for those that don't like to eat liver. Uh, whether or not this works or not, I don't know. Uh, but there's some evidence that eating the liver may help. And then our molecular fertility supplements, uh, we're not de selling DHEA now, but by the way, you can get DHEA for less money, uh, like on Amazon or the local grocer, less than Dr. G is selling it for, uh, and he claims a patent on it, which seems to me like it's price fixing to me. That's why I think the FTC and FDA needs your input and your complaints and we're putting a link on our website for you guys to share, questioning all of us, all of us. Does what we sell really help you? Why are we charging so much money? Why does IVF cost so much? Why would Optum United Healthcare deny you coverage? Uh, and it's maybe SART and ASRM's data is completely doo-doo, and we need to really be thinking differently. Um, Sorry for my soapbox, and he, he just listens. He's such my friend. Uh, let's see, Kathleen Mayfield. How can my husband get his sperm count up? Um, they're supplements. And the biggest reason for low sperm count is oxidative stress. Inflammation. Uh, it's just inflammation. What's the scientific word? Yeah, wait, 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 scientific word? Like, like, what the f is What is, is, what is, what is when, when we talk like this, we look like we're smart. Oh, all right. Oxidative stress to the sperm. So in that, in those supplements right over there, we have antioxidants. We have... Uh, uh, there is no evidence that these are the things that will make you and help you get pregnant of any supplements. But there is evidence somewhere that says if you take these, it will help. Yeah. All right. We are working to make our supplements, which are the supplements that everyone else are selling, in a formula that basically is a lower cost but quality supplements. None of us can say whether it's going to work or not because none of us really know this. This is the crazy part of the story. But a lot of these supplements are based on theoretical science and very little uh, real life evidence. Is that like theoretical astrophysics or what about the, uh, you know, it's all theory. Uh, uh, quantum medicine. Quantum medicine. So <laughs> is that, is that like a quantum mechanic? Oh, no, quantum, uh, uh, the, 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 the string theory, right? All yeah. of this is, is basically what we have made up in our brain, which often is wrong. So guys, Keto, 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 but that's ketos for the masses and carnivore is for the few masters of the universe, you lionesses and lions who want to get to the, the Dr. Ken Berry, my good friend, and you got to go to his stuff, by the way, it, he says that the optimal human uh, solution is carnivore, one meal a day and uh, bacon, eggs, buttered beef, ice cream from time to time and salt. That's Kiltz's keto for fertility. And look at these things. It's quite remarkable, isn't it? Yeah. We've learned so much. Uh, let's see. Jamie. Uh, good morning. Currently triggering with Lupron for my retrieval in Colorado. Estradiol was 3,100. Two days ago, I was immediately put on Kebregulin. I'm planning a fresh retrieve, retrieval 
uh, planning a fresh transfer probably. What else do you recommend I take to keep my numbers low? The capergolin, by the way, is to prevent hyperstimulation. Letrozole might help, 2.5 uh, milligrams. Yeah. Uh, but, 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 but then it might uh, do something to the fresh uh, transfer, I think. Because that fresh retrieval is probably a transfer, right? But we've, we've yeah. used a lot of letrozole, 2.5, to help with implantation, maybe. But I would say that uh, tell the nurses and the team you want to do a fresh transfer, and they're going to tell you, no, you can't, and you're going to say, but I want to. And Dr. Kilt said, I can although you have to listen to the doctors in Colorado because I have a tendency to, to push my ideas. But I would say that um, uh, I think you're okay with that estrogen level. It's not crazy high. No, it is not. It's reasonable. And capergolin is okay uh, for pregnancy. So no worries. Don't worry about that. Uh, frozen transfer day three or five, Barbie Mar uh, Marcioni. Marcioni. For someone with PCOS who is also male factor, would you recommend a day three or day five? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing more and more day threes, and I'm, we're getting You can success. never go wrong with day three. You can always thaw and go to blast later, but a lot of male factors do better at day three, in my opinion. But which is the one, whichever one you do, and if it doesn't work, don't give up and do something different. Uh, all right? Uh, Carla Lopez Brand, uh, one stillborn, three confirmed miscarriages, one suspected miscarriage, not been able to get pregnant for the last year. Should I lose weight, reduce inflammation before I be of consultation as we go? All right. Obesity and your weight is not the cause of anything. You have the best DNA genetics ever created. You need to look at Kiltz's Keto and the baby's plan. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it is number one way of success. I tell you it's ridiculous, but um, look at uh, look at keto and carnivore. Look at Ken Berry, Marie Emmerich. Oh, one of my good, good buddies, uh, Dr. Sean Baker, who I actually haven't really met, but I talk about him all the time. We're going to get Sean on our program, uh, but look at uh, and we have so many people that have been doing this for so long. And I think, what did I do with, uh, I know I have, oh, I've got to, it's, don't forget our good friends, Maria and, and uh, Craig Emmerich, all right, on carnivore. One meal a day is my recommendation at night. And uh, these are the things that will get you a baby. You might not even need us. Miscarriages and PCOS is a plant-based disease. You eat plants, they're the poisons that want to kill you and your babies. I know it doesn't make sense, but it's radically the most amazing thing I've ever, ever learned. But it's the game changer, and it's all inflammation. All right. Let's, let's get... You guys doing okay, and thank you for being patient. Let's see, at 11 o'clock Eastern time, Don Clark and I are going to do a live and then circle and bloom at noon Eastern time is going to do a live. And I'm going to talk about the same stuff because repetition is the way to a receptive reproductive outcome. Uh, struggle with immature eggs during retrieval. Does Minipur help with maturity and egg quality? Um, I guess the best answer to that is when we do an IVF cycle and we see the outcome, we go back and we think it over and we try something different. Um, hey, what did Einstein say about that? Simplicity, easy. Yeah. This is Occam's razor. Uh, absolutely. These things. So whatever you're doing that isn't working, do something else. Yeah. Number one is always faith. One meal a day. Carnivore keto is best, but any keto is better than no keto. Yeah. Fasting is lasting. And um, uh, the anti-inflammatory uh, protocols, and uh, then this might be uh, priming with human growth. It might be lotus naltrexone, CBD oil, omega threes. You know, these are all the things that may be helpful uh, to improving those things. Uh, Dr. Banerjee, Dr. Also, Banerjee. Well, it's not Dr. Banerjee. It's Effie Essikis who who met Dr. Banerjee by phone. So excited to start this process. My question is genetic testing versus no testing. I'm 44 and I'm a little bit worried. That's an easy one. Make, make an embryo, put it in, and give nature, God, faith a chance. And, and by the way, you're going to do better yourself than the lab at genetically testing your embryo. Uh, women do way better than a PGD lab. 
You might check out the LDN book. I'm not sure everyone on, on Instagram can see it. And check us out on TikTok. Um, I think Snapchat, too. I don't know. We're all over the crazy place. But low-dose naltrexone is anti-inflammatory. Uh, maybe it's something to uh, to give it a shot, right? Yeah. Uh, and then I, I got to show the uh, the the, uh, the Keto for Fertility cookbook. For those that like variety and spice, Maria shared her recipes uh, with uh, me and with all of you. I think on Amazon, no, not Amazon, go to our website, drkills.com or CNY Fertility to get some. But I am really into boring uh, bacon, eggs, butter, beef, ice cream, and salt, one meal a day at night, and infinite faithful moments a day. Yeah, because, uh, you know, I've been, uh, I've been with you the last three days. The first day we had steaks. And second fries. day we had... No, no, we changed it up. Oh, we had fries and steak. Right, steak and fries the first day. <laughs> fries and steak the next, next, next day. day. And last and night we had... Steak and fries. Again. Steak and fries. Yeah, that's variety. It's it's our variety of life, but a little bit of a carb, but we eat only one meal a day. That's the most important, important concept, by the way. Um, so every day infinite faithful moments meditation and prayer is critical in our lives without it we're losing touch with the most important energy of the universe we all cut we have all come from a very important spiritual journey don't lose it by the way uh jennifer fields 41 100 pounds overweight your perfect weight one meal a day bacon eggs butter beef intermittently feasting Yes, you should every day. I say 23 and one, 23 hours of this. Drink water, not wine, whiskey, or beer. Snacks are deadly. Coconut milk, oat milk, almond milk, and soy milk are deadly. Don't touch them. And I would say that if you do this for the rest of your life, you will feel so amazing. I'm 95, I mean 65, um, and what I've learned in life is a game changer. Irritable bowel, colitis, Crohn's, uh, migraines, kidney stones, uh, neuroses, but I'm still neurotic, and he knows but, uh, but he does better on the keto. He really does. Uh, they, they, and keto, <laughs> keto for the masses and carnivore for the kings and queens, the lionesses and the lions. That's the critical one, by the way. Uh, let's, let's, uh, and again, thank you everyone for being part of our journey. Uh, our, our best to Dr. Fink, Dr. Magarelli, uh, Dr. Corley, Dr. Lutheringer, Dr. D'Souza, Dr. Chang, uh, Ditchkoff Grossman, uh, uh, Dr. Ivanov, Dr. Vidal, uh, 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 Verdi Alice, uh, Dr. Kondrup. Uh, there, are, there are some other docs that are helping us, I apologize, plus our practitioners, uh, 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 Kelly, uh, Chris Z, uh, Meg, uh, Kayla, uh, uh, Jen, Infinite, Rebecca. I'm, I'm missing some people. But we're all, all of you, by the way, are part of this amazing journey. We're all doing this together and never, ever give up. Uh, Jay Ra Bacon, again, LDM for priming. Yes. Clomid, CoQ10, Conception XR, other vitamins. Stay on them. And our molecular fertility and ovarian bloom. Again, our job is to put some supplements together that the science suggests might be helpful. That might be the best terms of all these supplements, by the way. We highly support Theralogics. So if you're not using molecular fertility, go to Theralogics. And they have a great THEA, but you can get it for a lower cost other places if you choose to use it for whatever you might be using it for. All right. First consultation, uh, peace of mind to those that are waiting. Oh, uh, Brother Tom is trying to get a hold of us, but we're going to have to say no to Tom, right? I will get back to it. Yeah, we'll get it back to our brothers. Uh, in the meantime, let's talk about another subject right there. Can you do PRP wash and Neupogen wash together, or is it better to do separate? Well, there's no, nothing to say that doing it together is harmful. Uh, if it's more convenient for you, we can certainly do it together. Yeah, I think doing Neupogen, HCG, and PRP washes, sometimes we'll do uh, two days prior to transfer, a day prior to transfer, or prior to IUI and intercourse. All these yeah. things may be helpful. If you're doing intra-ovarian PRP, by the way, 
10 days of antibiotics. I do some strong antibiotics. I think it's important. Uh, let's see. Uh, no sound. Did we lose you guys? Uh, can't hear. Uh, for some reason. No sound. No yeah. sound. Okay. All right. Hold on, guys. Sometimes I have to cut out of our. Uh, let's cut this out. And now. Uh, uh, please stand by. Stand by to everyone. Yeah. Yes, that's uh, the people on Facebook can hear us. We're trying to fix. Uh, Let's see. That was that. All right, we're yeah. back on Instagram. We're still on our yeah, other here. Facebook. Let's see uh, if. Can you hear us on Instagram? They'll let us know in a moment. We might yeah. have to. Sometimes we have John. To... Okay. Hello there. Uh, do you hear us on Instagram? Let us know if you can hear us, James. Yes. It looks like, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay. We fixed it. It was probably Brother Tom uh, cutting in here uh, in all of this, and we got to turn to airplane mode. Uh, let's see. All right, great. Heather, Kathleen, Le Lamore, uh, endometriosis uh, without surgery, success. Yes, there is. Think about the, uh, and Dr. Vidali does a lot of surgery, Dr. Condor, Dr. Lutheringer, we do a lot of. In, in surgery, but you can also add either either Lupron, Lupron or Alyssa, or Alyssa uh, Letrozole. Letrozole. There's a, a medical treatment for endometriosis is pretty equivalent to surgery. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Two to three months, by the way. Yeah. Higher BMI, PCOS, do you suggest transferring one or two embryos? All for my babe. It all depends on your previous story, your age, the quality of the embryos. It's a, I don't think we have a recipe. We, we custom design our strategies based on where we are with you. And, and look, at, we all are unique individuals, but our physiology is very, very similar. That's why the way we work and we talk about this stuff is in a very similar way that we know that the, the cells work very similarly in the diseases. This is why we talk about of inflammation, keto, faith, prayer, visualization. We talk about uh, surgeries, we talk about uh, dissections and drugs and diseases. All of these things encompass in a very similar way. So we think it's important. Uh, DNC, eight weeks, trisomy, immune four, uh, six fair, lower grade, uh, three days left. What are the chances I will have another miscarriage? 35. You're going to have a baby. You're going to have a baby. That's why we want to work into this. You don't want to focus on what you don't want to happen. You always want to focus and see what you want to happen as if it is. And never, ever, ever, ever give up. Give up, right? Never give up. You visualize. And so this is the hardest part. That's why I read, I read the, the, the Old and New Testaments, the Bhagavad Gita, the, the Torah, Whenever you're reading in the spiritual text, we were listening to inspirational quotes of the Norsemen, of, 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 uh, of ancient peoples of the world. We're still talking the same philosophy, aren't we? Yeah, we listen to a lot of that. We do. Yeah. I love doing it, by the way. Yes. And so I would say make sure you go to the family building guide. Um, and I think we need to, we need to show that. Uh, the new family building guide, and we should all be working on ways that all of our pictures together uh, get in the system. Remember, we're a family of human beings, no matter your size, shape, age, weight, gender description, social, cultural description. All of us need to approach you and you, us, with love and kindness, because this journey can be very stressful and struggling. And so love is the key. And the key to, uh oh, there goes Kilsa's keto. Health and wellness is simple, right? Always faith first. You want to get Kathleen Mayfield. Yeah, so Kathleen, I'm having surgery to repair a hydrosalpinx this week. My hubby has a low sperm count. We are going to be doing IDF in January, but we're thinking of waiting, waiting till the summer due to work. Is that okay to wait? Wait, I'm 41. Um, your baby already exists. There's a destiny for your baby, and you have to follow that to 
the time that you show up with your baby. So whether you wait or not, who knows if it's going to make a difference or not. Uh, fertility does go down with, as we get older. Mass folly goes down faster. But if you, have, you can only do IVF in summer and not be able to do it in January, don't feel bad about it. Just do it in summer. And look in the meantime. Look yeah. at our keto carnivore. Yeah. Uh, both of you change your ways. Uh, just visualize the outcome as Dr. Fruki has shared. Yeah. The time is right when it's right for you. Now you might choose to bank some embryos before then. You might. Um, I recommend day three. You could go to blast. You may or may not choose to do a biopsy. Uh, but as Dr. Fruki says, the right time is the right yeah. time. The easiest question of today. Do you deny anyone from seeking IVF? Absolutely not. And if you hear from any of my team or any members that say, I'm sorry, we can't do it, or this or that, listen, no. uh, uh, text kilts, call kilts, uh, email kilts, our kilts at CMY Fertility, our job is to take care of you. No matter what disease you're suffering from, age, weight, gender, um, even if you're sad, mad, or angry, we want to learn about what is causing you to be sad, mad, or angry, so we can work with you better to share a better path and journey. Uh, so, does smoking affect medications? Well, first of all, smoking. Well, smoking. So, uh, question from Brittany, Brittany here. Um, Brittany stage. Yeah. It's not good for you, right? A lot of inflammation. There's a lot of uh, toxic stuff there. It's all coming from plants, by the way. Um, it actually also makes your body eliminate some of the medications faster, so their effects get uh, diminished. And, and uh, a question for uh, La uh, Mal Malissima. We do myomectomies, and simply when you talk to our team, uh, just say, I'd like to do a myomectomy with one of your surgeons. We can help you with that. We're working to centralize all our operative uh, surgical scheduling, make it simpler. And your OBGYNs, there are plenty of great surgeons around this country, whether they do it they do it robotically or straight laparoscopic, or they do a laparotomy. A lot of really great doctors out there, and we're supporting you for sure. If driving a lot of pure lemon, can that affect your eggs? I think drinking, probably. Uh, whatever it is, lemons are deadly. Citric acid is deadly. I recommend against it. Um, how about, and that was from Godly Power, yeah. Erica Clifton. HGH better when used to prime before IVF yeah. or during stims. I would say both may be helpful. Yeah. Whether you're doing intercourse, IUI, IVF, or fresh or frozen transfers, human growth may be helpful, but the science behind that is really squirrely and we don't have absolute answers. That's the craziest. Actually, we, we've been doing IVF now since 30 years and the majority of what we do, we still don't have absolute answers, even after 30 years. Okay, and all the science, the journals, the abstracts, uh, we're just doo-doo driven. You have to have deity as the driver. That's the that's the god the godly power that is the mind is the master for all of us. And the more good, positive thoughts you lead with, the more the path of light shines and opens up, right? Right. I know it's very frustrating for some of our patients that we don't know what the, the whether what we're doing is good or not. But at the end of the day, uh, our patients are getting pregnant. Uh, we have all these children that have been born. So what did we, we you and I were talking about natural cycles, less monitoring, less meds, uh, one or two eggs, one or two embryos, fresh transfer, lower cost, because the medications are way too costly. We're working on ideas that are absolutely different for everyone. We at CNY are, are, are blessed to bring more affordability, access, and quality to everyone. We want to continue to do that for everyone out there, by the way. Yeah. We're even trying to find ways to do IVF cycles with the minimal amount of monitoring. And you can be anywhere and only come to see us once. Once. And, and we, so we're working on all that. Uh, uh, ultrasound, talk to your OBGYNs. Look for uh, an ultrasonographer nearby. Some of them might even come to your house and do a scan. We're working on ways to get a portable uh, ultrasound probe shipped to your house. Uh, it, it uploads and 
you can help make the decisions and maybe you can even self-schedule IVF as the next level. Uh, $39.95, I'm working to keep it that way. Working that everyone who's chosen our IVF centers, we continue to flow the energy and share the information, affordability, quality, access for everyone. Uh, the problem with all of our science sometimes, well, especially when Optum United Healthcare says, you, if you use these meds, you can't, you can't uh, do IVF with us, we won't pay for it. But that's segregating those that have all the money in the world to those of us who maybe need to work hard for our money. And we, we really need to have the right to choose um, the, the, the medical intervention, the healthcare we desire independently and individually, by the way. Three journey, uh, the journey to IVF. Uh, just had a laparoscopy for stage one endometriosis on Thursday. Next transfer is with CNY in Colorado in January. Do you re recommend uh, PRP wash prior to next transfer to help with the success rate? Well, PRP wash is something you put in the uterus, and usually we like to do that when your lining is not developing. So uh, if your lining is developing okay, I don't know if you really want to necessarily do PRP wash, but it's something you can uh, talk with with your providers. Uh, Quattle bomb, you're, uh, uh, I know you wish I didn't take away the discount for paying full. Uh, we're really working on maintaining our $39.95 as the cash discounted price. I know you get a little bit extra, but I'm working on it. But if you do three, our fourth is a discount. You know, I'm working not to raise prices for this. I'm working to do something. So I, I'm working on a throttle bomb. So, but thank you. Uh, maybe we'll throw that back in. Uh, so, you know, you keep asking. I may be shifting on that. So we'll but, see, right? But, but we honestly spend a lot of time, uh, the two of us, talking about how we can make this easier for our patients. Right. And and maybe, you know, $39.95 for up to one year to pay, anything more than that. It's all, I don't know. We're looking for ideas to make it affordable, accessible for everyone. Our job in this business is to help you guys to keep it affordable and not change it up, by the way. Uh, let's see. There's a uh, Coley's baby journey. Coley's baby journey. If you're having bloating and, and issues, listen, go to the emergency room, call the docs, call the team, uh, go in to get checked by someone. We can't tell you uh, what to do. And by the way, everything we tell you on this program still needs needs to be uh, defined by your practitioner that you're being taken care of by. We are not giving advice for your medical care. We're just giving ideas that you might go like, who's in charge of your bodies? You are, not the insurance companies, not the doctors, uh, no one but you. Now you have more access to what you and I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to go to medical school. You guys have more access. Who defines your health and wellness? You, you do. Who decides what goes in the mind and the mouth and how you move your miracle master machine? You do. It's as simple as that, right? Uh, vitamins you recommend. But by the way, the bloating is quite common after retrieval. So it doesn't necessarily mean you there's something bad. Right, but yeah. we're we like I know he would tell everyone that I'm neurotic and crazy. <laughs> but 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 ultimately no one can really define that in our Western medical craziness unless I go in to get seen, pay money, and have someone give me a diagnosis, a drug, um, and maybe a dissection. But we're sharing this idea that so many people have gotten pregnant naturally by following our crazy advice that we have thrown out there. You want to hold that one, doctor? And, and look at we know this Kiltz's Keto and Family Building Plan is a game changer. And bacon, eggs, butter, beef, ice cream, salt. We're going to eliminate the diet word, by the way. It's all a human nutritional solution. Dr. Ken Berry, look at his stuff on uh, basically carnivore uh, is the master solution and keto is for the masses. That's it. it did exercise, is exercise bad when you're getting ready for transfers? Bad, don't do it, right? 
you need to be, you, you don't want to be stressing your body because exercise is a stress to your body. You don't want to be stressing your body because in reproduction, that's going counter to what you want. And we sell male and female supplements for fertility, all right? And I'm working to make sure you get the very best quality that science has suggested may be helpful at the very best prices. And um, currently, I'm a disbeliever in DHEA, maybe snake oil science, but if you want to use it for whatever someone suggests it might be helpful for, go out there. And, and I am here to help with all of our health and wellness ideas. And we should all have equal access to information and no doctor or drug company for a supplement that is accessible to everyone in America without a prescription should have the right to sue someone else for even talking about it when we can just Google the information ourselves, something's wrong, right? Yeah. Hey, where do you get the family building guide and the kills keto? Amazon.com. You can download a paper copy for a nominal investment. And on on uh, on, Kilts, on drkilts.com and cmifertility.com, you can download a digital copy for free. Free! All right? Plus, if you share this uh, conversation, uh, you're, everyone and anyone can win the IVF uh, giveaway, by the way. So the more you share this, the more people watch this, sign on. And this is a game-changing nutritional solution for the optimal human solution. What is first? What trumps everything? Faith. Faith. Belief in God. The last time I looked in the mirror, God is my friend, Dr. Fayez Faruqi. God is all of us. It doesn't matter your description in our journey of data modification. And science is a data monger. Yeah. We see everything with the eyes that we have. Oh, what was that movie we were watching on Netflix? Uh, Code data. Uh, 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 bias code. Bias code. Bias coding. What's bias that? coding or yeah. coded, coding biases. Yeah. Check it out on Netflix. Look at we are so biased in science, but we have our, our clubs that we're members of. We, we look at the data and then we make rules based on this stuff. And then I'm like pulling my hair out. Like, really? Do we really know that much? I would say no way. Honestly, honestly we don't. We really, really don't. It's, it's sometimes even uh, shocking how little we know. It's, it's, it is shocking. When I called, when I called Optum United Healthcare to the medical director, who was amazing, uh, Dr. Uh, Severino, uh, it basically is, uh, we know that these things haven't proven benefit. We haven't seen any harm. So if you use them, we're going to deny you coverage. And DHEA, go to the FDA, FTC uh, website, and uh, look at Dr. Gleischer, and in my opinion, put a complaint in that you think that maybe it's snake oil science and it doesn't make sense, it's not right. And I'll put myself in the same category because we were selling DHEA, suggesting based on his science, it might be helpful for you, not knowing that there is a patent that basically anyone who uses DHEA for fertility might have to pay someone for that information. And I would say, how can we do that? How can we publish it in our journals, not be told about it, and then be sued? But who makes the money? The guy who talked about it. The, the lawyers. Yeah. The lawyers. All honor to the lawyers, by the way. <laughs> All honor. If you're priming but need anxiety meds, it's not going to be disrupted to building quality eggs. Stacy Uchima. I know you have to stop taking before transfer. Not necessarily. I don't think so. But if you look at one meal a day, kilts is carnivore keto, the anxiety, and begin to meditate every day, you listen to the positive vibes. Check out Dr. Kiltz's Mind, Body, Smile. I need to refuel and foster the mind, the body, the smile. That's why. What, is, what does it say on my T-shirt? Mind, body, soul, heart. Look at all of us. All of us. 
watching, listening, sharing. We all have a mind. Last I looked, we all have a body, uh, mind, body, soul, and a heart. It, it, we have to be in the conversation of positivity. And, and that's why I'm going to talk on Circle and Bloom at noon, uh, Don Clark at 11. You're just going to follow this with more of this same information. And Dr. Fruki is going to spend some time with his son, Mikel, who is at Upstate Medical School, a second year studying to be a physician. Uh, so we're all of those docs, that's practitioners, the nurses, MAs, LPNs, all of us, by the way, have equal access to the information. So who's going to Who's going to be responsible for your health and wellness? You. Last I looked, you. you are. We can't tell you what to do. Manny Martinez, Lauren Green, uh, let's, uh, J. Rob Bacon, uh, Shayla Noy, uh, shout out. The, uh, the journey, of yeah. all of you guys, uh, it's amazing. And the insurance companies keep asking for letters of necessity. It's very, it's fr look at, it's very frustrating. Talk to your employer. Why do they make it so difficult? Uh, it's easy because the, it's a, more barriers that they put, you're less likely to use the service. Oh, you're going to, you're right. You're going to, you're going to be denied for not fighting and you're going to run around and then you're going to yell at my team who's feeling the same frustration and pressure. And then when someone comes to the office and we deny your requests and then you get mad because we're, not paying attention. Our pleasure to be caring for every and any one of you. We want all of us to listen and learn together because the goddesses and the gods, the lioness, the lions are within everyone. That's the thing I'm learning. We need to step back and learn together. Worth a mill, worth a mill, right? All right. Ash, you want to get that one, Doc? Ash, well, uh, IUI versus TI success rates, both with Letrozole and Menopure, uh, uh, PCOS. Um, IUI is a little bit better, obviously. Uh, I'd say generally 1.5 times better pregnancy rates, but it also depends on your, um, your age, your story, so it's a very, uh, that answer is not an easy one. If what you're doing isn't working, get to the next level. Yeah. Keep on moving. They're the stepping stones, right? Yeah. They're not stumbling blocks unless you believe in the negative. But if you believe in God and the power of faith that all things are positive and working in your favor, then no matter what happens, like I've got, I've got so many troubles, like Dr. Gleischer, the IRS, the CBC, NBC, it doesn't matter. <laughs> They're all stepping stones for our journey of life. Always have faith in the goodness of God within all of us. Thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, like my medications, three days, whatever. Okay, Brittany, let's see. You generally transfer two to six days after retrieval uh, or uh, four to six days after progesterone. And remember, faith first, spirit First, uh, facts and science way down here, because if you're working and doing something every day, you're on the journey, right? What do you have to say, doctor, my good friend, Dr. Fayez Faruqi? I always say the same thing. Never, ever, ever, ever give up. It's a journey. You have to get to the end of the journey. The baby's at the end. And I'm going to be talking to yeah. Don Clark in a couple minutes, so please join us. Thank you very much. Uh, I think Thursday I'm going to be doing something where uh, conversations with kilts, uh, Faruqi, Magarelli, uh, uh, let's see, Jennifer Waters, Dr. Verdi Alice, uh, Elizabeth Lee, oh, Justine, oh, uh, Mich no, uh, Maureen is going to be doing our embryology talks. Uh, we have so many things. Check out Sean Baker, uh, let's see, uh, Maria and uh, uh, Maria Emmerich, uh, Craig Emmerich, uh, and, and Ken Berry, but keep on the journey. I love you guys. Uh, we'll see you later in the week or later today. God bless to everyone.